The file produced by Bandicam is timestamped with the date of the creation. You probably want to change that to something more appropriate. Here's our insert components. I can double click on it and it will play it back for me directly in the Windows Media Player. Now you might want to distribute this. So obviously what you might do is you might use a couple of commercial services. For instance, you might decide to put it out on YouTube. So here's one of our videos out on YouTube. And the nice thing about this, of course, the YouTube solution is it's completely free. So there's no uh, cost to you in doing that. So you can see it on the Android device and uh, you can also play it full screen here by doing this. Right, so you get complete capability here of uh, creating a, um, an output format that can be easily distributed to devices as well as to the internet. So here's the option playing directly back from YouTube here. Now, other things you might do is you might consider using like a Google Drive. You can see I've got one in here. Here's Drive here. And same, same idea here. You have a folder and uh, here you have all your different files. You can see the storyboard right here, the one we just developed. We can click on it here and play it directly back from here. So you can use one of the commercial services or you could perhaps use your internal server, but it will take up a lot of space uh, with the videos and so forth. So YouTube uh, or Google Drive might indeed be an option for you there. And notice the uh, watermark at the top here. That's because we're using the free version of the Bandicam. That gives you up to 10 minutes. If you want to go more than 10 minutes, you would have to purchase the Bandicam software to do this, but it works really nicely. It's very easy to use.